Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining our last Children and Youth Speaker Series program for 2023. I am one of your hosts for the Speaker Series program. I'm the co-executive director and program manager working with About Face for over two years, and I'm joined by Kelsey today. Hi, everyone. I'm Kelsey. I'm a communications officer, and I've been working with About Face for about a year now. Before we begin, we'd like to start with a land acknowledgement. Each of us is joining the program today from a different location and therefore a different Indigenous land. I wish to acknowledge the land on which About Face is headquartered is in the city of Toronto. This land is a traditional territory of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabe, the Chippewa, the Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat peoples. We also acknowledge that Toronto is covered by Treaty 13 with the Mississaugas of the Credit. Today, this meeting place is still the home to many Indigenous peoples from across Turtle Island, and we are grateful to have the opportunity to work on this land. We hope that after our session today, you'll take a moment to learn about the land that you occupy. Before we formally begin and introduce our speaker, we'd like to let everyone know of how the Zoom call is going to take place. As a reminder, this Zoom call is being recorded today. So if you're joining us live, you're able to join with your camera on or off and use your mic as appropriate that you find using it on or off and making use of the chat. You're welcome to participate as you fish as you wish. And the recording for this program will be uploaded to our YouTube page as a resource for the community at a later date. Please use the chat for any questions and we'll make sure to answer them as the program takes place. The chat will also be used for you to participate with any answers that you might have or comments that we can also discuss at the very end. One last thing to note before we start, is that we cannot provide any specific advice or counseling. And if you have any questions that might be considered this, we'd ask that you direct those to your healthcare team. Kelsey. Today, we are welcoming Ross, uh, Ross Camp. Ross is a silent program opportunity to speak to the community about making a self-talk. While putting the women on together, Ross met a friendly man named Ralph who wanted to help out, since Ross was nervous about doing it on his own. They both loved to provide tips that they wish someone had given them when they were younger. Welcome, Ross. Thanks, Kelsey. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Ross, and my friend here's name is... I can introduce myself. My name is Ralph. Wait a minute, why are you covering your mouth like that? Oh, I have a tendency to interrupt people, so... I, I kind of cover my mouth to remind myself not to interrupt anyone. Um, that, that's really weird, but please don't ask me if I'm related to Winnie, Fozzie, Yogi, Little Bear, Paddington, Poe, or any other bears that you're thinking of. I have no relation to any of those bears, so please don't ask. All right, Ross, now that that's out of the way, you can go on with the show. This is a show? I mean a webinar. Oh, I almost forgot. I should also mention that I'm not a gummy bear. Please don't eat me. Wait, people have tried to eat you because they thought you were a gummy bear? Yes, it was very traumatic. Oh, what's the matter, Ross? Oh, Ralph, I had a terrible night last night. I had so many thoughts running in my mind that I couldn't get out of my head. I'm sorry to hear that, Ross. Have I ever told you the trick? I used to fall asleep. Oh no, please share with everybody. It's called the plea um it's called the military sleep method. Ralph, I didn't know you were in the military. Mm, no, I wasn't in the military. I that's just the met what the method's called. Oh, okay. Sorry. Please continue. All right. Well, actually, wait. Let let me get a pillow. You have a pillow just outside your chair? Yeah. Um do, do you sleep like this every night? Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, boy. Do, do you realize the bed behind you is, is for sleeping, right? Oh, really? Um, We'll try it this way for now, and tonight I'll sleep on my bed, I guess. Yeah, that could help. Are, are you ready? Yes, go ahead. All right, step one, close your eyes and breathe deeply. Step two. Wait, your eyes are open. Yeah, I, I sleep with my eyes open. Really? That actually works for you? 
Oh yeah, sometimes. Uh, wow, kids, don't try to sleep with your eyes open. Anyway, step two, relax the muscles in your face. Step three, drop your shoulders and arms and let yourself sink into the bed or, or chair in this example, I guess. Step four, once you relax your shoulders and arms, then relax your chest and then focus relaxing one leg from the top down to your toes and do the same for the other toe. And now step five, the most important step is clear your mind. You can either think of a calming image like yourself lying in the meadow under the blue sky, or you can do what I do and say the words, don't think repeatedly in your mind for 10 seconds. G give it a try, Ross. Okay. Don't think, don't think, don't think. Say it in your mind, not out loud. Oh, sorry. If there's other thoughts that start to distract you, put them aside and bring your attention back to the visual visualization. That's a tough word. Or thinking of the words don't think in your head. Give it a try again, Ross, but don't say the words out loud. Ross, wake up. Oh my goodness. Oh no, Ralph. I fell asleep during the webinar. I, I don't even know how long I was asleep for. I, I, I was so worried that this was going to happen. Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm having difficulty breathing, that I'm on the verge of a panic attack. Listen to me, Ross. I'm going to teach you a technique that will help you with the way you're feeling right now. Also, everyone that's watching, feel free to follow along. Okay. It's called the 54321 technique. Name five things you can see right now. Well, I see my hands. I see the keyboard. Just dropped my mouse seeing the keyboard. So I guess I touched my mouse as well. So I just need to touch a fourth thing. Um, Ralph, may I touch your nose? In almost every other scenario, I would say no, but due to how you're feeling, yes, you may. Boop. Did you enjoy that? Yes. Yes, I did. I'm glad for you. Now, name three things that you can hear. Um, I hear birds out my window. That window? Yeah. Um, that window's closed. How can you hear birds? You, you don't hear them? No. Well, I can hear them. <laughs> Maybe you need to get your ears checked or something. Uh, well, that's one. What, what's another one? I, I hear constant ringing in my ear. You hear constant ringing in your ear? Is that not normal? I, I don't think so. Anyways, that's two. Do you have one more thing? Yeah, Ralph, I, I can hear you. Perfect. Now, name two things you can smell. Well, I don't know if, it has, if there's actually a smell to it, but I smell air. And... Um, Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. I smell something bad. Oh, sorry. I thought I was going to get away with that one. Oh, Ralph, that's disgusting. Sorry, I was just making sure there were two different smells in the room. Now that you... Uh, now, do you have something that by you that you can taste? Um, yeah, I got a glass of water here. I'll just drink that really quickly. Can you drink enough water to taste it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was good. Wayne, does water have a taste? Yeah, it, it tastes like water. Okay, I guess that makes sense. I never really thought of the taste of water before. How, how do you feel? Actually, now that you mention it, I feel way better. Wow, th that really helped. Thanks, Ralph. I'm glad it helped. Did you see any other tips? Do you want to see any other tips that can help you prevent future panic attacks? Yeah, I would, I would love to see more more tips. Hold on. Let, let me present something. Hold on. I have to go off screen just for a second. 
just bear with me. Technology is not my friend. Uh, here we go. I'm just going to hit share now. Oh. Oh, wow. This is really, this is really interesting. This is great, Ralph. Where did you find this? I, I found it on the About Face website. There's so many helpful tips uh, uh, on this site for kids and adults. Wow, that's awesome. Wait a minute, Ralph, did you know? How did you know I was going to have a panic attack? Ross, I have no idea. I see there are other methods to help with practicing mindfulness and relaxation. Yes, practicing mindfulness might seem like a chore or a waste of time, but it's very helpful for your mental health if you're feeling uneasy and need to relax. You can try belly breathing technique, which is on the screen right now. Oh, how do you do that? It's very easy. Lie down on your back and then Put one hand over your belly and the other hand over your chest. And now, Ross, you, you can try it in your chair, but preferably if you're doing this, you want to be lying down. Now, Ross, breathe in through your nose and I'll, I'll keep an eye on your, on your chest and you keep an eye on your belly. You put a hand over your belly, okay? Now, you can breathe slowly in through your nose. If you can't, that's okay. You can breathe in with your mouth as well. Play, co play Pay close attention to make sure your stomach expands like a balloon while trying, while trying your best to not expand your chest at the same time. Breathe in and count to four in your head. And when you're counting in your head, it helps if you count by saying, one breath, two breath, three breath, four breath. Okay, give it a try. Breathe in. One breath, two breath. Not not out loud. Quietly in your mind. Now breathe out slowly through your mouth and say the numbers in your head. Not out loud. Again. How do you feel? Very relaxed. Here, let now that we've done that practice, we'll stop sharing the screen. There we go. How, how do you feel? Uh, yeah, I feel very relaxed. That's great. The more you practice the belly breathing technique, you'll find it become easier and more effective to how calm you'll feel after. I'd imagine you'd have to do it a couple times. Uh, uh, at least for a couple minutes and a couple times as well but to get the full effect, right? That's true. You might have to repeat the steps of breathing in and out to get that desired calm state that you're looking for. These techniques, um, these techniques to keep a calm mind preventing pain attacks will be really helpful for me. I'm glad you showed them to us today. I was glad to share. Since everyone is here, I would love to play a game with everyone. If you guys would be willing to try it out. What do you think, kids? Do we have time for a game? Yeah, of course we have time for a game. Okay. To make sure everyone is prepared, everyone will need at least four pieces of paper and an eraser. Okay, I'll give everyone a minute. Hey, Ross, do you think if I look in the, in the lens hard enough, I'll see everyone prepared in the game? I don't know, Rob. I, I, I don't know. I guess you could give it a try. Hmm. I'm looking, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm seeing much. All I can see is a lens. Ralph, you're you're scaring you're scaring the kids. Oh, sorry. I, I got carried away. Okay, hopefully everyone is back and has everything. We'll start the game. Ross, have you ever had thoughts of something negative about yourself? Yeah, I have, Ralph. Can you give me an example of one of your negative thoughts? Yeah, I think the one that comes up for me the most is that I'm not good enough when I'm confronted with something that is difficult that I have to complete. Ross, what if I told you the game we're about to play 
is going to get rid of those pesky negative inner voices that you have. Ralph, that would be fantastic. Okay, we'll start with giving our inner negative voice voice character a name and what they will sound like. The name can be whatever you want it to be, but it can't be your own name. Once you've figured out a name, I want everyone to write the name on the bottom of one of the pages. I'm sure everyone is thinking hard. Does, does everyone have a name? Ross, have you figured out a name for your inner negative voice? Yeah, I think I have. I think I'll put down Ralph for my inner voice's character's name. Wait a minute. That's my name. Oh, yeah, you're right. That, I'm sure that's just not a coincidence. Any, anyway, now that everyone has thought of their character's name, let's think of what your character will sound like. Ross, what does your character sound like? It's going to sound like me, isn't it? Maybe. Wow, that sounds just like me. How did you do that? I'm not sure. Uh, just luck, I suppose. That's amazing. Now that we have our character's name and voice, all that's left to do is we need to draw a picture of what they look like. The page where you wrote your character's name down before will be the page you draw your character. When you thought of what your character might look like, you can start drawing. Just a Sorry, I, I don't know what I was saying there. Ross, do you have an idea of what your character might look like? Um, hmm. Yeah, I, I have an idea. Okay, you can start drawing your character. All right. Well, I need I need to draw my character with... Uh, I'm going to use pencil crowns. So do you mind helping me with this? Sure. Okay. Do you mind if I color it a little bit? Yeah, sure. Let, let's get you a color here. All right, we'll put that in your mouth. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna draw something here. I'm drawing. All right. Wow, that was that was very quick. Oh, okay. very nice. You put that right back where it was supposed to go. It's very good of you. Oh. Okay. Ross, you are done with your drawing. I think I did the majority of the drawing, but that's okay. Yeah, I think I got a good interpretation of uh, my inner uh, negative voice with uh, with your help. All right, let's take a look at it. Oh, and I'm covering Ralph's name there. Wait a minute. That looks like me. Now that you mention it, Ralph, it, it kind of does look like you, doesn't it? Okay, now that Ross is done with his picture, we can move on with the next step. Anyone that is following along and hasn't finished their picture yet, that's okay. We can finish the picture after the webinar. The next step will be writing the three negative things that you have thought of or said about yourself. We'll write one negative thought on one of the three separate pieces of paper that doesn't have your drawing on it. You can write the, your negative thought big or small on the page. How about you start with your first negative thought on one of the three pages in front of you, Ross? Sure, I, I think I'll go with the one that I mentioned earlier. Okay, write it down and we'll share it with everyone to show them an example of what it looks like. Ralph, can you read my negative thoughts as I show them the camera? Sure. Oh my, what's wrong? Your writing is so messy, I can barely read it. Well, I am right-handed and I wrote I wrote all of this with my left hand. Why wouldn't you have used your right hand? Oh, right. How about you whisper your negative thoughts to me and I'll I'll write them down so you can read them. Okay. Um Really? Oh, wow. Can you, can you please give me a pen? Yeah, sure. Here here here's a pen. Mm -hmm. Ralph, I, I I don't understand you. 
Can you please click the pen for me? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. I'm grabbing a page here so Ralph can write, rewrite my negative thought here. And I told him what it was. Oh, he's writing away here. Oh, my goodness. I'm writing so quickly and so neatly. How, how did you do that? I don't know. It's just a natural talent, I guess. Okay, let's see the first one. Okay, this is my first negative thought. Oh, oh, it says, I'm not good enough. Put that over here. Ralph, I have to be honest. I I'm not sure if I, I feel comfortable telling the whole world about these negative thoughts I've had about myself. It's okay how you feel that way, Ross. You don't have to share them if you're not comfortable. But... To break the habit of having these negative thoughts about yourself, I think it would be good for everyone if you shared them. You're right, Ralph. I, I I don't like having these negative thoughts. And when I write them down, it's hard for me to even understand why I would say such terrible things about myself on a daily basis. It's okay, Ross. Nobody is perfect. We all say negative things from time to time. But it's important to catch yourself when you're thinking that negative thought and say the opposite to yourself. Now, everyone, start writing down your second negative thought on a new piece of paper. And it looks like Ross wants uh, needs help writing the second piece of paper, uh, the second negative thought on a piece of paper. So I'll write that down really quick for him. Here, I'll remember to click the pen this time. Oh, thank you very much. All right, here we go. Wait a minute, how do you talk with the, with the pen in your mouth? I don't know. Oh my goodness, you're, you're, that is uh, quite a talent that you have. That, that was written so quickly. Now that Roz has his second negative thought written down, let's see what it looks like. This one says, I'm not smart enough. Oh no, that, that can't be true. All right. Now that you have your second negative thought written down, let's do the third. All right, I'll, I'll write the third one for you as well. Okay, click the pen for you again. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ralph has my third negative thought written down. Wait a minute, how do you know my third negative thought? I didn't whisper it to you. I'm a mind reader. So it looks like we got the third negative thought written down. Let's show it to the uh, to everybody. Let's show it to the camera. This one says, nobody cares about me. Oh, Ross, that's not true. I I, I care about you. Oh, that, that's very nice of you to say, Ralph. Uh, those are some troubling negative thoughts you have, Ross. Uh, yeah, they are, Ralph. Just seeing these negative thoughts written down makes me feel so exhausted. They must have gone through my mind hundreds, maybe even thousands of times. I wish there was a way to stop these negative voices in my head and stop putting myself down all the time. Where there's a well, there's a, there is a way. I want everyone to think of a phrase for each negative thought that you have written down to dismiss that negative thought. Some examples of these phrases that you could say to dismiss your negative thoughts would be, that's not true. Stop lying and be quiet. Since Ross picked my voice and name for the character, I'm going to say Ross's negative thoughts out loud to you. And I want Ross to say the phrase to dismiss that negative thought in his own voice. Anyone that is watching, I want you to follow along as well. Start with saying the first negative thought you wrote down in your inner negative vo voice character's voice. That's a mouthful. I'm going to say Ross. I'm going to say Ross's right now. I'm not good enough. Now, everyone else watching, if you can make sure that you're standing up straight, feet flat on the floor, shoulders up, chin up, I want you to say the phrase in your own voice to dismiss that negative thought. Everyone that, at the same time, say your negative thought out loud in your character's voice. 
I'm not good enough. Now, Ross and everyone that's following along in your own powerful voice, say your dismissive phrase. That's not true. Again, but say the dismissive phrase even louder. I'm not good enough. That's not true. Good. That's exactly what we're looking for. Now we're going to do the second negative thought the same way. I'm not smart enough. Be quiet. Good. For the third and final negative thought, I want this one to be the loudest. Nobody cares about me. I care about myself and other people do too. One more time, but this time louder. Nobody cares about me. I care about myself and other people do too. That was great. You guys were so loud that I could hear you out my window. And that window's closed. Wow. Let's just, let's grab the first negative thought we wrote down and crumble up and throw that negative thought in the garbage. All right. Um, the first negative thought I had was this one, that I'm not good enough. And we're going to crumble it up with our hands here. You can use one hand like I am, or you can use two. We're, gonna, we're just going to crumble that as tight as possible because we don't want this negative thought in our mind anymore. And we're just going to throw it out. And don't th throw it in the garbage. And it, it, if your parents are okay with you throwing it on the ground the way Ross did, that's okay. But maybe don't, maybe throw it in the garbage. Now, now, now that we, uh, let's do the second negative thought, which uh, will be, I'm not smart enough. Let's let's show that to the camera. All right, crumble that one up. We're crumbling up the second piece of paper that we've written down. Actually, Ralph, can you help me with this one? Yeah, of course, I can help you. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, Ralph, you're, don't swallow it. Very good. Now let's crumble the last piece of paper with that final negative thought. Yes, I've heard this. I've heard myself say this one too many times. It's very negative, very negative. Now let's crumble this one up because we know it's not true. We're going to crumble up really good. Let Ralph crumble that one up. We don't want that one. We want a good crumble on that one. Yeah, oh, so much drool. There we go, that one's gone too. We got rid of all our negative thoughts that we've written down and we've thrown them away because we don't need those anymore. But Ralph, wait a minute. What what do we do with our with our character's drawing? I'm not sure, Ross. I, I don't really know what to do with our character's picture that we drew. What, what do you think we should do? I, I think we should keep the picture. I know it's our inner our inner, uh, or sorry, our negative inner voice, but it's still us. I guess if you threw the paper out, you you would have to get rid of me too, since I'm based off your your inner negative character. Oh no, Ralph, I, I, I wouldn't get rid of you, even though you made me feel bad about myself sometimes, you're still a part of me. If we practice what we learned from our game, uh, from your game today, and when we think about those negative thoughts that we have and catch ourselves and say the phrase to dismiss that negative thought, like those examples you said earlier, like not true, stop lying, be quiet, or another phrase, we can stop the cycle of the negative thoughts. So you're saying when I'm thinking of a negative thought, all I have to do is say a phrase that will that proves that the negative thought isn't true, which means... If I break the cycle of thinking of negative thoughts about myself, I will become a more positive bear? Yes, Ralph, that's exactly what I think. Wow, that's so exciting. We think we should keep the picture of our inner negative voice character to remind us to always stop a negative thought when we think of one and always say a phrase to dismiss that negative thought. It's the only way to break a cycle. I agree, Ralph, and I couldn't have said it any better myself. I think everyone should keep their picture safe and add on to it to define their character more. We shouldn't judge ourselves for having negative thoughts. It's okay to have them sometimes, but nobody is perfect. 
but with a little bit of practice, we can be better at not turning ourselves down all the time. We'd like to thank everyone that is watching live and the VOD that will be available later when it comes on the About Face YouTube page. Yes, Ralph? Can can I do one more thing? Uh, I think we're wrapping up, Ralph. I, I'm not sure if we have any more time. I'll make sure to make it quick. Okay, if it's quick, you can. To end the webinar, I think it would be really great if we all gave ourselves a virtual hug together to remind ourselves that we need to care for ourselves as much as we care for our loved ones. Oh, Ralph, that's that's a nice idea. May I give you a virtual hug? That's good that you asked, Ralph. So anyone that doesn't want a virtual hug, just don't hug yourself. Come on, bring it in. Oh, Ralph, Ralph does a little dance before he, he does his hug. Oh, he, he's, so he's hugging himself and I'll do it as well. And I'm hugging Ralph as well. So I get a double hug. So everybody's jealous now. But um, yeah, I'd like to thank everyone again for participating and watching the webinar. And um, we'll have Adriana take over the, the webinar. Hi, Adriana. Hi, Ralph. Hi, Ross. <laughs> Thank you both so much for joining us here today and for delivering such an amazing and inform informative presentation on negative self-talk. All the activities that we did, Ralph, thank you so much, and Ross for sharing all that knowledge. I think they're really beneficial, and a lot of people will find these really helpful once it's available on our YouTube page. Please remember that the presentation will be available shortly. Um, once that's ready, we will also have that on our newsletter and our Instagram page for everyone to see. We thank everyone for joining us today. Ross and Ralph, thank you again. And everyone have an amazing day.